Hi, hi, hello, and welcome back, everybody, to Go Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan. So, last time, we got to through our first day just arriving to Japan and heading off to bed. So, let's get back to it. Hmm. Huh? What is this room? Where the heck am I? I already forgot where we are. Hmm. I know, I'm in Japan! Oh boy. Last night I achieved my dream of coming to Japan. <laughs> it's not a dream. This is totally real. I'm Mikado. Um, excuse me. I'm in Mikado and Akari's house in Japan. And today, I'll get to look around the city of Tokyo. It's so awesome. Which means I can't afford to sleep in. I'd better get up fast. But first, bathroom, bathroom, gotta pee. Japanese toilets can be so different from, uh, or maybe not. What the heck is this thing where it, there's all these random buttons? What are they supposed to be? Uh, well, nothing venture, nothing gain. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna push one. <laughs> it's not like it's gonna explode on me or anything. Okay, here we go. Switch on. Hmm. What is this? This is like a warm bl breeze blowing up from deep inside. Why does the toilet blow wind at me? Oh, my bad. No. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna press another switch. Take this. Huh? What the? Now it looks like there's like a nozzle rising up inside. <laughs> what? Nani? Ah! Hmm. <laughs> what the hell? There's water. Water shooting out. It's a bidet. Somebody make it stop! <laughs> It's a bidet, you tard. <laughs> you don't have to laugh so hard. <laughs> but, but... <laughs> I wasn't expecting a cry of distress so early in the morning, Akari says. Let alone finding you drowning in the toilet. <laughs> there is no way I can keep from laughing. Snicker. <laughs> oh, Akari-chan. Makado says, really, it's rude <laughs> to laugh so hard. You're one to talk, you're laughing too, Onichan, says Akari. Onichan. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am not, says Makado. <laughs> says Makado, laughing at all. <laughs> uh, what was I supposed to do? I didn't, I don't know anything about those toilet functions I <laughs> didn't defend myself with. Who would have thought the toilet would wash your butt after you do your business? Oh, whoops. Freaking. Hang on a minute. Uh. They even blow hot, dry air to you. Japanese people have crazy ideas. But. Once I used it, I re it really did feel kinda nice. I'm sorry for laughing. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> says, uh, Mikado. It's okay. I know. Now that I think about it, it really was pretty funny. Sure, says Akari. It was best not to hold back and laugh when something's funny. That's right. And it is nice to see her laugh after she was so put out yesterday. Anyway, says Akari, here you go. I made some breakfast for both of you. Hooray! Honestly, I've been starving ever since I woke up. Let's see. The breakfast menu is... Oh! Salad, bread, and eggs? This is... I was kind of hoping for more Japanese-style healthy breakfast, but... I thought she might prefer a more familiar kind of breakfast, says Akari. What do you think, she asks. Oh, uh, sure, I say. That's right. This is about what I usually eat. Thanks. 
<laughs> well then, I guess we'll eat, says Mo um, excuse me, Mikado. No. Sure. We say eat to Deki Mas, right? I ask. Eat to Deki Mas, they both say. Oh, speaking of which, says Mikado, what do you want to do today? Have you decided where you want to go? She asks. Where I want to go? No, I say. I was thinking about it. I was going to think about it later. Where would you recommend, I ask her. To be honest, Mikado says. I was thinking maybe Akari or I might accompany you. Oh. What? Just the two of us? I ask. Yes, one of us has to take care of the house while our parents are away, so we couldn't both go, but... Yeah, Akari says. We're on break from school right now, so it shouldn't be a problem for Onichan or I to take you around. Seriously, I ask? That's great. I would appreciate the help, I say. <laughs> says Mikado. I'm glad you think so. So, I know it's sudden, but where would you like to... Where would you want to go? asks Akari. Hmm, I say. Let me see. Where would I like to go? Ah, I know, says Akari. First off, oh, Nichan, can I have a minute? she asks. What is it? she, Makado asks. Just come here, Akari says. Uh, just you stay put for a second, okay? she asks. Uh, sure. Well, there they go, I said. What was that all about? I think to myself. Oh well, I guess I'll just wait for them here. Hmm. They told me to wait, but it's been five minutes. What on earth are they doing, I asked myself. Sorry about that, Akari says. Sorry for the wait. Oh, there you are. What on earth, I say. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> they look quite cute. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> welcome to Mizaki's tour, Sakuri says enthusiastically. Um, oops. What's up with the outfits, I ask. This is what tour guides wear when they show people around, Akari informs me. It's really, it really gives us that touristy air, you know, she asks. Oh, honestly, Akari. Sean, Mikado says, Did you really... Did you make these clothes while I wasn't watching? She asks. Huh? You made those clothes, Akari? I ask. Yep, that's right. She responds. Must be really... Oh, sorry. Must be really skilled at making things like this. Uh, <laughs> I guess Akari-chan was looking forward to your visit, Mikado says. She even made our tour guide clothes. That's not it, Akari says. That's not why I did it, she responds. Oh, my, Mikado says. You're blushing. Akari, I say. I said I'm not, Akari says. Girl. Anyway, here, Akari says. Let's pick our itinerary. Did you decide where you want to go, she asks. Oh. Yeah, more or less, I say. Okay, Mikado says. Then would you like to choose a region? A region, I ask. Let's see. I want to go... Let's see. Where to go. Okay, let me see. That's... Oh, I'm not even going to try to... I'm sorry, everybody. I'm not going to try to pronounce most of these. Shinjuku, I know. Um, I kind of want to go to Shibuya. Ginza. I don't know. Yeah, let's just go to Shibuya. Well, why not Shinju? Shinjuku, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Shibuya, though. Okay. Let's go to Shibuya. How about here, I say? Oh, my, says Akari. That's a young person's town, are you sure? What's that supposed to mean, I ask. Do I need to remind you? I'm still pretty young. 
Oh, stop trying to force it, doctor, he says. What do you mean force it, I ask? Hmm. <laughs> well, okay, she says. In that case, I'll be showing you around today. You better keep up. I will, I say. A buck ninety left. Oof. We need money. Anyway, Akari says. Today, we'll be going around Shibuya. Shibuya, I say. This place is for young people, I ask? There's a lot of young people around. Aren't there, Shishi? Akari says. Shibuya itself isn't that old, as parts of Tokyo go. It's only became big enough... It, it only became a big entertainment town about 40 years ago. Excuse me. Town about 40 years ago, around 1970. So I guess there's a connection between the age of the town and the age of the people who go there. She says, wow, I say. Hmm, speaking of which... Hey, Akari, I see a big crowd of people over there. Is there some- is something there? Huh? She asks. Ah, yeah, over there. That's Japan's famous meeting spot. Meeting spot, I ask? Yeah, the meeting spot is in a fairly inconspicuous place, but... This is Akari. There do... there. Do you see a bronze statue of that shade? In the shade of that tree? The dog statue. Dog? Oh, yeah, you're right. I say. I couldn't see it in the shadow, but it is a statue of the dog. Or a of a dog, I'm sorry. That's Hanch Hachinko statue, I assume. Roast me in the comments. Akari says, the statue of the most famous dog in Japan. The most famous dog, I ask? That's right. The tale of Hanchinko. Hanchinko's Chuken is still told to, told to this day, she says. Chuken, I ask? Um, it's basically a dog with a very strong trust in its master. Ah, you're talking about loyalty, I say. I don't know the English word, Akari says, but probably something like that. <laughs> hmm. What, I ask? Nothing. Or er, what, Akari asks? Nothing, I say. Anyway, Hanchinko was famous for his chukin. You're saying a dog had loyalty? I, say, I ask. Of course, that's what he's famous for, Akari says indignantly. I see, I guess. So, that dog, Hachinko, right? How exactly did he show his loyalty, I ask her. You've really been listening, Akari says. It all happened about 80 years ago. Oh, whoa. Hold on a minute. Why does it not stop? Okay, well, before we learn about this this interesting thing about it, this dog, we're gonna stop right here for today, and we will move on next time. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time, everybody.